Okay, welcome back to the Crooked Man. This is episode three. Looking back on it, last episode it kind of cut out some of the beginning, so <laughs> that was a little embarrassing. But we, we're we new Let's Players. We slowly learn as we go. Okay, so we're about to visit the landlady and check who the last person was to live here. So let's go. Funny story, for the second part, since we um we trimmed the video in the first place, we never split it in half. We had to restart from that place like where you give Paul his license. So um, the thing was, we were planning to replay the game up to that point, but then conveniently we didn't save, and for some celestial chance, it auto saved near Paul. So we just automatically picked up right there and recorded episode two. So yeah. Uh, that was pretty good. Saved like about twenty minutes. So, so yeah, let's we talk go. to the landlady. Hello. Oh, it's Mr. David. What seems to be the matter? Good day, miss. I just wanted to ask something. You see, about the room I'm in. Can you tell me anything about the person who used to live there? Hmm. Well, you know, these apartments always have people coming and going. Now what was that boy's name? I believe he was a man about your age. He suddenly left about a month ago. Said to leave the furniture and use it, however. You wouldn't know where he went. I never heard that, no. Really, just up and left out of the blue. Ah, uh, I just can't remember that name. I could rummage through my documents to find the previous tenants if you'd like. No, there's no need. I was just a little curious. Thanks. I'll see you around. Alrighty. Sorry I wasn't very useful. Okay. Box your bed! <laughs> bed! A man about my age can only wonder. Oh well, I'll get back to my room. And go to sleep. <laughs> See you in your dreams. Okay. I'm a good first prince. <laughs> uh, uh. Why are these tracks on the floor? Lead up to this wall. Is there something in the crack? Got a brass key. This key is pretty fancy. I doubt it's for anything in here. So I'm wondering where. The guy's voice, the kid's voices, the mirror writing, the TV turning on, the coffee. Ah. Uh, it's like a poltergeist or something. But, I would have thought that the landlady would mention this kind of thing. What's going on here? Not that I'd care if there were ghosts in here. I wouldn't mu much care if they haunted me and killed me, either. Dude! Come on! But I wonder about that scrap of paper. What was the man who lived here like? Did this stuff happen while he was here? Not much use thinking about it. I'll call it a day. It was a very uneventful day. Aren't you gonna clean this up? <laughs> you know? Nope, back to bed. It'll just clean itself. <laughs> What? Why? Where's that coming from? Is it from inside the house? This is about as far as we got in the 30 minute video that we originally started with. So yeah. Mm-hmm.
Maybe I should go upstairs. No. Okay. Well, let's go. So we're going to the left, remember? Oh. Aha! Came from in here. Radio. What's... Why is this in my closet? Not to mention it turning on by itself. Hmm? There's something on this paper here. It's... an address? Our special place. Where's that supposed to be? Got a paper with an address. Bad, I guess. Oh shit! I'm waiting for you. What? what? Uh. So I, I'm waiting for you. What? Why did? How? When did it? Uh. What's he up against the person living in the room? <laughs> so, did you sleep well last night? Sorry I had to sleep on the couch. Nah, I should be sorry for coming over so late. Huh, wasn't expecting it, but don't sweat it. But hey, did something happen? You don't look too hot. Oh, there's no particular reason. Maybe I felt like intruding into the new, like the newlyweds' love nest. Hip. Hey, why you? <laughs> just kidding. Seriously though, you can tell me if anything happens, okay? I'll do whatever I can for you. All right. <laughs> I'm glad to have a buddy like you who looks out for his friends. Hey, you making fun of me? Oh yeah, I heard from Marion. Sorry about the Shirley thing. I told her off for that. Don't worry about it. It's not Marion's fault. Well, it's not about whose fault it is. I'm just not happy about it. Don't let it get you down, alright? I know you've got your mother to look after. But I think it's time you move on and look for new people. As if a guy like me could find a date. I'm just some clerk with a mom in the hospital. And the girl I wanted to marry ran from. Man, don't be such a sissy. You keep up that moping, and you'll have your own personal rain cloud. Heh, <laughs> well, I'll be careful. Oh, so I'm going to go on a little trip. Don't want to waste my vacation, you know. Ooh, great idea. Where are you going? Just somewhere I was wondering about. I'll call you when I get there. Sweet! Send a postcard! Breakfast is ready, Paul! David, will you be eating too? Nah, I'm not hungry. I'll be going. Aw, oh, that's too bad. Come by any time you like. There. Paint's gone. <laughs> Maybe he washed it. Looks like this address is in the mountains. About a five hour drive. Did the former tenant go here? I just want to ask him about this room. Maybe he'll know something. 
No, I'll go right now. Can't stand this place anyway. Prologue. David's room. End. Well, All right. I guess on that note, we should end the recording. So, this has been Shadow Gamer Omega, or, you know, David Spencer, and this has been The Crooked Man, Episode 3. Alright, goodbye.